Jaja children, on our right. May I bring on a greetings from the name of Jehovah our Creator and Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the King who rules the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Today we're going to look at some more ways how you can tell that the children of Israel are black, they're Jamaicans, they're the Negroes, they're the real Hebrews, the Israelites of the earth. Because you can take us out of Jerusalem, but you can't really take Jerusalem and the Bible out of us. We are looking at a marina right now, what we call a marina. M-E-R-I-N-O. And weird news. That's like what a sheep look like. It's a, an Australian sheep who made headlines in 2015 for the record-breaking weight of his fleece has died, according to the carers of the marina named Chris. So you see the woolly hair will come from the sheep and the marina where we wear. To this day, that's where those things come from. We are the ones who have bushy hair and woolly hair, just like the Bible says. The next thing is on Jamaicans.com, nine cool things school children in Jamaica have to know by heart. What's the first one? Psalm 100 and Psalm 23. You know why? Because we're the children of Judah. And the Psalmist and the whole southern kingdom is in Jamaica of the tribes, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But if you go through the surnames down there, you'll hear most of the other tribes are in those names too. And we have Hebrew names, Christian names, royal names, names that nobody else has. So we also have to learn the national anthem and our anthem is dedicated to Eternal Father, who is Jehovah. So we don't have separation of church or state. Because wherever we go, the most I is. So we do a lot of poetry, school song and pledge, number of days. These are some of the things we have to know. Mathematics, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And a lot of motivational quotes or proverbs or useful sayings, you know, like Ecclesiastics. So that's how you know we're Jaja children. Ja and Micah are both Hebrew words. Ja is short for Jehovah and we're called Jaja children. So we're going to look more as to how we came to be in the islands because some of us were scattered in the various expulsions. Some of us were scattered due to religious freedom. Some scattered as slaves, some as merchants, some to preach the gospel because the tribes were already, the 10 northern tribes were already in the Americas and the children of Judah are charged with teaching them righteousness. Like we are descendants of the apostles. That's why our lands are divided up into parishes and saints. Throughout the islands, the Caribbean, you'll see a ton of the names of the saints. And the saints are the apostles' children, the descendants of the apostles' children. Okay. So we're going to look today at the narrative of General Venables with an appendix of papers relating to the expedition to the West Indies and the conquest of Jamaica, 1654 to 1655. Now, other books that show you the expulsion of the children of Israel and where they went in addition to the Bible is the complete works of Flavius Josephus and Fox's Book of the Martyrs. But you have the conquest records as well. So this is Appendix E. Extracts from Henry Whistler's Journal of the West India Expedition. Whistler's Journal is in the British Museum. So a lot of people don't know that we're the ancient Britons, the ancient Scots, the ancient nationalities, whatever the Israelites took on. We're just called by those names because we were going to be a proverb and a byword. But we still kept the Ja names, the Jaja names, okay, and the Christian names. So it was used by Granville Penn in the memorials of Sir William Penn, where second 31... The account of the landing at Jamaica is quoted. Much of the journal consists of an account of the voyage, which as full accounts are printed in the memorials and in 
the Thurlow State Papers is not of sufficient interest to be reprinted. So you can use that as your guide as to where it is. So we're starting up at the 30th day of January, 1654. This day, our general and general venables and commissioner Winslow went ashore where they were received with much civility and they went to the governor's where they sat in council about the raising of soldiers and within five days it was agreed upon and the commissions granted to the commission commanders to raise them. So the ninth day, 1654. So I said, this island is one of the richest parts of ground in the world and fully inhabited. Okay. And in the world, up to the time when Port Royal was sunk, Jamaica was the richest in the world. And you see, they also bear witness to that. But were... But were the people suitable to the island, it were not to be compared. It is, it is a most rich soil, all ways grown and bearing fruit, and the chiefest commodities commodity is sugar and some indis, indigo, I think that, and cotton and tobacco. But the chiefest commodity they now plant is sugar and cotton. Here are many pleasant fruits as pineapples and plantain. And bananas and oranges. You notice the old English spelling. And limes and custard apples and prickled pears and many other fruits. Their bread is made of cassada roots, which is roots of trees until it be ground and then press all in the dust out of it is it is poison but being well ordered it makes good bread that's fulfilling the prophecy where we're going to eat poison food and not die and snakes going to bite us and not die In jamaica don't have any snakes or spiders that will bite anyone there and kill them to this day all right so he's talking about the food and he's telling you now the people, the gentry here doth live far better than ours do in England. They have most of them a hundred or two or three of slaves, apes, who they command as they please. So you see how they call us slave apes <laughs> here. They may say. What they have is their own, and they have that liberty of content which we so long have in England fought for. But they do abuse it. This island is inhabited with all sorts. With English, French, Dutch, Scots, Irish, Spaniards, they being Jews. With Igons, Ingons, and miserable niggers born to perpetual slavery, they and their seed. These niggers, they do allow as many wives as they will have some will have three or four according as they find their body able or english here doth think a nigger child the first day it is born to be worth zero five they cost them nothing the bringing up they go always naked some planters will have 30 more or less, about four or five years old. They sell them from one to the other as we do sheep. This island is the dunghill where 
run England dot cards for it is rubbish. Rouge, rouge and horse and such like people are those which are generally brought here. Yep, so you see what kind of Jews they say, what kind of nigger Jews, nigger apes. It said they were English, French, Dutch, Scots, Irish, Spaniards, they being Jews. Okay, with Indians and miserable Negroes, Negors born to perpetual slavery, they and their seed. Now, if you want to go, this is the 16, so they're talking about like up to 1655 and so on, right? This also is covered in When's the Black Irish of Jamaica on page 32. Yep, and it says... um. Oh, Lord, help me. This is so painful to read some of it. So it's telling you um, their colors, right? This is when's the Black Irish of Jamaica, page 40. And he said, but my name's not Coffee, and please, it's Pat Mulvaney, Mulvaney, and do yes mean to say, you're Irish. I do. <laughs> the saints, they find us. And how long have you been out here? A matter of 10 year or so. 10 year? And yes, yes, black as me hat. May the devil fly away with me if I ever set foot on this old isle oys land save me soul i took years for a nigger it is gross exaggeration of this type that throws discredit on many a narrative and tends to becloud the entire questions of the historic origins of the irish in the west indies so we know Jamaica has always been a predominantly black place. If it was a predominantly white place from the time Eve slavery ended, it takes about three or four generations for somebody to change their color. And the white people don't give birth to black people, but the black people do give birth to whites or people with black features and white skin. And the population is predominantly black. A lot of these um, black Jews also went to Barbados, Montserrat, all of them. And you can still hear the Irish accent, you know, that we have to this day. So that's how you know that they were on slave ships. This is a pretty, this is a historic document. The narrative of General Venables. Yeah. See, they have most of them, a hundred or two or three of them of slave apes. <laughs> the Who they command as they please. Here they may say that they have is their own. This island is inhabited with all sorts, with English, French, Dutch, Scots, Irish, Spaniards. They being Jews. See the I-U-E-S. Back then, as Uno said, they never have no J. And I see him say it written in at the 1611 Bible or I E W E S. So this shows that it was the Jews that were exiled from Europe. Some of them went back to Africa. Some came from Africa. Some came from Portugal, Spain, England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales. Some of our brethren went to Saw to me, some went to the islands, the Americas. We went into all nations, as the Most High said it would be. Some by slave ship, apostle ship, expulsions, slavery, um, 
religious persecution, you name it. Those were the children of Israel. So that's fulfilling Deuteronomy 28 and a lot of what Christ said, you know, when Jerusalem was going to be trodden down by the Gentile and we were going to be sold to the Grecians. Yep. 